Welcome to this video on the topic of vectors. In this lesson, we're going to learn how we can use vectors to prove collinearity between points. Points are said to be collinear if they all lie on a common straight line. Therefore, collinear points will form parallel vectors between common points. Let's have a look at what this means by example. Example 1 show that the points A, B and C are all collinear. Now observing what this might look like, suppose we have the points A, B and C. If these points are indeed collinear, then what we're going to find is that all of the points, all of the points are going to lie upon a common straight line. So if I have a line in space like so, I will find that my point A might be there, my point B might be here, and my point C might be here noticing that they all lie on the line. Now if you observe this relationship a bit closer, suppose that we did the position vector between A and B, then what we're going to find is that we get the vector that looks like that. Similarly, for B and C, we get a vector that looks like this. And notice that vector AB and vector BC are going to be parallel with one another, because they point in the same direction. So because of this, we can make the statement, if points A, B and C are all collinear, then the vectors A, B and B, C are going to be parallel. So all we need to do is to show that these points are collinear, we just prove this relationship here. Using our knowledge from the previous lesson, we can build the following argument. Vector AB will be a scalar multiple of BC, where the scalar multiple is a real number and non-zero. From this, let's discover vectors AB and BC. Vector AB is going to be 6 take negative 4 and 2 take negative 3. Hence, AB will be 10 and 5. For BC, it will be 8 and 4. Now we go back to our argument here. AB is equal to K vector BC if they're parallel. So, we finally get the following. Next, I simply build one equation. K equals 5 on 4. And then verifying, I can say 5 equals 5 on 4. So it works. Hence, AB is, or is parallel to BC, and point B is common. Therefore, points A, B, and C are all collinear. So let's have a look at this from the top. We set out to learn how to show whether points are collinear or not using vectors. We discovered that points are collinear if they all lie on a straight line. So therefore, if all the points lie on a straight line, they're going to form vectors, so position vectors that are parallel to one another. And of course, where they share common points. Using the example where we're checking for points A, B, and C, we know that if they're collinear, they will all lie upon a straight line together. So therefore, we can form the statement to show that the position vectors between the points are going to be parallel. From there, we build our parallel statement and then we go for a parallel, I guess, demonstration. We define vectors A, B, B, C. We put them through the parallel relationship test. We deduce that they pass the test because the value of K turns out true for both of them. Therefore, we find that vectors A, B and B, C are parallel and they all share a common point B. Therefore, points A, B and C are all collinear.